Welcome to another Math 107 video on statistics. And this video is going to give you an alternative from using your TI-84, the stats uh, distribution options. And you can use this statistics calculator that's found online. And so I'm going to put this in the in, uh, as, a, as one of the tools you can use in WAMAP. So, uh, we already looked at, uh, you should have already seen how you do this on your calculator, the probability of some x value being greater than 1.5, and this being a z-score. Uh, I believe that sometimes the, the, um, the book writes the question like this, when c is greater than 1.5, on WAMAP questions, and really what it's talking about is when C is a z-score. And when C is a z-score, we use the mean as being 0 and the standard deviation as being 1. And so this calculator, uh, its default system is where the mean is 0 and the standard deviation is 1, so when questions are asked like this, you don't have to change the mean or standard deviation. But let's go ahead and uh, show how that works. Now, I'm going to draw a quick sketch of this, which I always think it's a good idea to sketch uh, the normal curve. And uh, x being po greater than positive 1.5, so here's, uh, I, I always put the z-scores here, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, about like that. And after negative, uh, higher than negative than 3 and lower than negative 2, it's, there is a little tiny bit of area, but it's just so small, it doesn't amount to a lot, but, you know, it's, a, it's like a point, point oh seven percent or something down in there, 0 0.08. And, uh, but a z-score of 1.5, since we can't use the empirical rule, the empirical rule uh, is useful when we have z-scores that are whole numbers or integers. That's positive or negative whole numbers. So they have to land on 1, 2, 3, or negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. So it is 1.5. Let's change the color here. At 1.5, that's right about here. And x is greater than 1.5 would be the probability that one of those z-scores is greater than 1.5 would be equivalent to the area under that curve. And so we already know if we used um, if we used this, uh, the empirical rule is something like you could find the probability of it greater than 1. And you may recall, I'll just review real quickly, uh, from 0 to 1 is 34% using the empirical rule. And so this top half is 50% total. And so 50% minus 34% from 1 to the end, if that's 34 in there, this would be 16% would be the difference. So we know that it's going to be less than that because we're going to lose all this area too. So anyway, it's something less than 16%. Um, but it's real quick and easy to do. X is greater than 1.5. Now, just like the TI-84 uh, rule, we're looking for uh, really X being, here's how I'll write it, greater than 1.5, but also has to be less than, we say less than infinity, this is kind of a funny way to write it, but if you're using, since you can't put in infinity, uh, you could do less than like 999, it would be equivalent. So x being greater than 1.5, if x is greater than 1.5, which is what this says right here, then you can have x between 1.5 and like 9.99, or some teachers like to make several nines, put a whole bunch of nines on there, because once you get out way out here, that's going to be that area is so small it won't make any difference. So if we go over to our tool, um, x is between 1.5 on the left and just a large number on the right. So we'll go down here, we'll put in 1.5 there, um, 1.5. And then on the right, we just want to have some big number, 99999. Okay, and then we go ahead and we'll hit Calculate. And that gives us 0 0.0668. So that is about 
16, uh, 6.7%, 0.0668, on and on. So that's, I'm going to just say 0 0.067 as an approximation. We know that 6.7% if they ask for a percent, and if they just ask for the probability, you can just write as a decimal. So this is probably what you'd enter on WAMAP. They usually don't ask for percentages. Okay, so now uh, another way to do that, actually, you could have gone down here and, and selected over here on the left, over here, you could have selected probability that X is just greater than A. And so uh, that would be, we'll have a new, we'll, we'll update this, X is greater than A would be, we just put in 1.5, and notice down below, if we put in 1.5 there, which had already had that, um, it already had that. Notice it automatically puts in a big number. I, I, it's interesting. It puts in 99998.99. But anyway, and if you calculate that, notice it essentially gives you the same thing. It doesn't answer that. Even if even if you had picked this uh, and you gone from 1.5, you don't have to go up to nine big nines. I mean, even if you put in 99 and you calculate it, you get virtually the same thing. And if you change this to a 9, just a 9 alone, even, even up to 9, I'm going to update that, let's go to 9 here, and you recalculate, it's still essentially the same thing. Now, if you only go up to something like 2.5, well, that's not going to get you far enough out. That'll only go to right here. So you calculate that, and yeah, it's going to be smaller. So you need a bigger number there, but even in this case, 9 would have worked. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at another problem. Uh, let's uh, clear all this. So we'll do you. Snap this. Oops. Oops. New. Okay. So a new problem. Now let's take the probability that the x values between negative 1.4 and uh, positive 2.3. So we'll do the same thing. We come over here to our inequality and we want to go, we'll update this, we're going to put in negative 1.4 on the left. Pretty simple. And then on the right it was, pop that up again, it was 2.3. And we calculate that and it's now, notice, I love this because it gives you the picture. <laughs> so we get that 9.9, .9, so that's approximately 0 0.908519, blah, blah, blah. So on your, usually if you go out four places, that's going to be plenty. That's going to be more than enough. So you can put 0 0.9085. Okay, so that's that's all there is to using that new tool. It's uh, really handy. You can use this instead of your TI-85-4 if you'd like. And I'm going to post this on, uh, I'm going to post this on uh, WAMAP so you'll have it available. I'll just put it on the top and I'll, I'll say here's a, it'll be a link to it. It's an online stats calculator. Okay, so that's the end of the video.